Okay, I'm going to go over section J, which is the scale landing gear section. And also at the end of this section, I talk about uh, a better way to do the, uh, the over wing fairing installation. Uh, this is our scale landing gear, retractable landing gear kit. It comes with uh, three electric gear and uh, the screws and plywood to install it. Got the tires and the axles and the screws and this gear kit is designed uh, to represent the real scale of V22 as far as the gear retraction directions and the gear retraction angles. Uh, this is the template for cutouts for the fuselage. Uh, I did have to make a compromise and actually move the, the main gear forward about an inch. You can see some bumps in the scale fuselage right where the, the, the gear retracts and that, that, those bumps are really uh, clearance bumps for the edge of the uh, main gear tires. So if you really wanted to get this in the right position, that's kind of what you'd use to position these. But you'd have to move that aft bulkhead in the fuselage. I also compromised and I kept the gear inboard about, I think, an inch or a half inch for each main gear. And the reason I did that was to uh, keep the cutouts on the underbelly of the vehicle. And uh, if I would have put them in the right position, the cutouts would have been on the side of the vehicle. And that, to me, if you're not going to put gear doors on, it looks worse than, uh, you know, just leaving them underneath. Uh, if you're putting gear doors on it, then you'll probably want to move, and you really want to do it upright, you want to move them outboard about as far as you can get them so this, this tire just clears and aligns with that uh, bump on the side of the fuselage right there. It's a real small bump but you'll see it. Uh, we've got some uh, Lexan uh, doublers here. Word of caution, do not use Loctite anywhere near this stuff. It'll cause it to craze. Uh, so any screws that go into this, we're just gonna have to rely on friction uh, to keep those things in. Uh, some of the earlier kits these small pieces of wood came all together. They didn't. They forgot to make this cut right here, so they came in. I think looking like this, and you need to you need to cut those off so you end up uh, with these pieces separate. I think some of the earlier kits too. This this cut wasn't made here. Uh, then we also add a couple additional holes here. I'll go over that later to just help zip tie wires in place. Looks like the these newer kits, they have these base plates already installed onto the retract landing gear. We've got some C-clips to hook the... Looks like they come with some washers too before the... We didn't use any washers and... Uh, a set of screws. Anyway, to get started, uh, you really want to build up the plywood parts for the main gear first. And out of these arms, you'll have an upper and lower arm. And uh, the easiest way to tell the difference is that the you know the the lower arm has the six bolt pattern and. You'll want to build a right and a left of this with the six six bolt pattern with the screws in the kit, and then the the upper arm is the one that picks up the uh, this plate, this Lexan plate. I'll go into this a little more detail when I start putting it together, but 
that's kind of how you identify the, the pieces you need for the uh, main gear in the, the basic direction you want to get them. Okay, the first thing I want to do is get these uh, Lexan pieces set up. Uh, it says in the instructions to mark uh, 20 millimeters. on either side of this Lexan plate. Uh, and this, this Lexan plate, you're going to have to put a slight bend in it. This stuff bends real similar to metal. So I'll, I'll mark that up. Uh, and then you also need to put a slight bend in the in the clear the smaller clear plastic Lexon plate, <clears throat> and maybe the the easiest way to figure out where that is is just line up the holes and then just mark it. So it gets it gets bent right on that. Uh, place where it comes off the let's line up the holes and you can scribe it it's bent right right at this joint where it comes off the plywood and that's about I think 20 degrees on each piece so I'll, I'll go do that stick it I just stick them in a vise and bend them over or some some pliers actually have a set up sheet metal pliers right here and I just kind of guess at it doesn't really have to be perfect just so it's there I don't think you can get these Yeah, you probably can't make a wrong, make this wrong. So you want to make sure you make a right and a, a left of these two smaller ones. Just get it straight. Like I said, it doesn't have to be. This Lexon works pretty good unless you put locked, get Loctite on it. I, it took me forever to figure out what was causing the Lexan to start crazing so badly. Just approximately, you can kind of rework it and get the right shape. So, if you take take a main gear and you you know these things kind of trail back so that's back and that's forward then we have wood screws uh, in the pack here and I use those wood screws to to put this together I haven't had problem with these screws backing out or anything I guess after you got them all in you could hit them with a little super glue or something we have lots of them so you got a little redundancy there and I haven't had a problem with them backing out the uh, make sure these screws here are tight also Now you want to make sure you build a right and a left of these parts. That's the easiest way to do it. Just set them down and say, okay, this is, now you know. And you uh, 
take the upper piece this goes on here like this so that the Lexon lines up back here and then this will go you know like that so you make that V and that's the orientation of this Lexon piece here that we can screw on with the same wood screws I think they gave this big pack of washers now. I, I was complaining about the Lexan, Lexan crazing. And they are the is cracking. Uh, when I was putting these kits together, and I think that was their solution that they they sent that pack of washers because I, I think they thought it was just uh, cracking, you know, tightening the heads of the fasteners were cracking the plastic, so they wanted a little washer in there. But I, th I think I've pretty much figured out now it's it's the Loctite doing it. The next step you want to do is go ahead. We've got some really small uh, millimeter, millimeter and a half screws that go in here uh, hold that assembly together. So you get those screws in and then you end up with this completed assembly, a right and a left. So these little pieces just fit in here. The angled side goes on the, the top or the angled piece, the flat side goes. And they'll just fit in there. And then uh, like I said, make sure you, you're building the right and the left, a top and a bottom to these. It's easy to get them flipped around, kind of look at it. Uh, I'm going to cut a little bit of chamfer on here to increase the surface area now. doesn't have to be perfect you really just getting in close is doing a whole lot of good and that'll make that that'll make those all these parts uh, fit together much tighter and cleaner to glue which I'll go over next. Now that's all setting up. I'll put this front gear together. Double check the tightness. These countersunk screws. And this piece just goes on uh, this this is the mount for the nose gear, and uh, that just goes on like that with the wood screws.